Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am wanting to do a little quick video um, just about like 8 to 14 weeks, what symptoms I've been feeling and what symptoms I had or that improved and just all of that stuff. Um, so today I am, let me just check, 15 weeks and 5 days. How I know how to do this is I use this app, um, that one right there, it's called Baby Bump and it's free um, on the iPhones, I don't know if there's like that one in Androids or whatnot, but it pretty much gives you like information, like daily information and tips. And then also it gives you like a daily, um, like, yeah, the tips. And then if you go down here, it gives you like a weekly thing of like how big your baby is and what your baby is doing or how it's growing during these weeks and about how you should feel and like testing and all of that stuff so it's a really nice app i really really like this app i used it with my first pregnancy now i'm using it again with my second so that's how i keep track of how far i am um the nice thing about this is it has um like groups that you can join it has um like a journal i don't use this um but it has like a journal where you can keep track of your weight, your mood, um, energy, appetite, cravings, morning sickness. You can make like reminders of your doctor appointments and things like that. Um, gives you like baby names. You can search for baby names on here. And then let's see what else. Kit counter. Um, like a kicking counter once you can feel your baby move, it'll let you do that. Keep track of the kicking. Contraction counter as well when you start with your contractions and like um, birth planning and it gives you like a little video of the birth process and things like that. So it's a really nice app. I really, really, really like it. Um, Obviously down here it gives you like more apps that you would could use and things like that but yeah so I keep I keep track of my pregnancy and like the weeks and things like that on here and I just like going into like the groups or like the what is it called? Um yeah well the groups and seeing what other people post and if they have the same symptoms what they've done to help and things like that. when I first found out I was pregnant I was about 4 weeks pregnant um I just started feeling different this video maybe for some of you is going to be a little TMI but I just want to explain exactly how I felt just so you know if any others are feeling the same way they know that they're not alone and other people feel the same way um, so yeah, I found out I was feel I was pregnant when I was about four weeks. The only reason I found out I was pregnant was because I was late on my period. Um, I didn't know exactly if it was my period being irregular because I had removed my IUD. Um, sorry, I had removed my IUD in August, like on August twenty fourth. I would say I like had gotten back from Mexico. Let me just check. Yeah, I was probably like. Yeah, August 24th, I would say. And then I got my period for like a week there. Um, from like August 28th to like September 2nd or something. And with that, um, I used an app that was like called my period tracker. And it tells you there like when to have um, intercourse because you're ovulating and things like that. So I used that app. Um, and obviously it helped me because I got pregnant. Um, so yeah, I found out I was four weeks. So because I had just gotten off of the, um, IUD, I didn't know exactly if my periods were gonna be regular or not. So it was a little bit of, um, either I'm pregnant or my period's just not, um, regular. So I took a pregnancy test, like, a billion times, I swear. Um, and they were all coming out negative. So, um, 
I decided to do one like a week after so I was probably only like three weeks when I was doing it so obviously it's not going to show um so I decided to take one when I was like on a Saturday and the day I found out I was pregnant and it was like a very faint line um I like my husband was there um while I was doing the test um and I was like oh no it's negative and then he looks down at the pregnancy test and he was like are you sure I swear I see a faint line and I was like no I don't see it and then I looked at it and I freaked out I was like oh my gosh I am pregnant I like immediately called my mom because you know you just you know once you have kids you kind of get closer to your mom I don't know if that makes sense not like I wasn't close to her before but you just understand each other more so I called her and I was crying and I was just super excited because I was pregnant so I found out I was pregnant on these on October it was October 1st um so I was about four weeks or five weeks one of the two I didn't really have any symptoms then besides I was getting a little bit of a headache and some breast tenderness not a lot though just a little bit um and then slowly it just started progressing like the symptoms with my first I was really sick I was throwing up all day I couldn't eat anything I lost like 15 pounds during my pregnancy I had to be put on Zofran because I just couldn't keep anything down um this pregnancy is different though um I started feeling symptoms when I was probably like seven weeks and the first symptom that I started having was obviously the nausea. No vomiting though, which is the good thing. I think I've only vomited once the whole 15 weeks so far. So I'm really happy for that because I honestly hate nausea and vomiting. Like that's the worst. Um, so yeah, at first, first symptoms I was having were headaches, breast tenderness, and then it progressed to nausea and um, acid reflux. Um, I am constantly burping, like, all day. All the foods I eat, I burp, and I have, like, the aftertaste of food stays in my mouth. I don't have the metal taste that some pregnant women experience. My aftertaste is, like, of the food. So I have to brush my teeth every time I eat because then just the taste will make me feel so nauseated. It's so, it's bad. Um... And I'm brushing my teeth makes me gag because just something in my mouth and I just can't. I can't even brush my teeth. It takes me like 10 minutes to brush my teeth because of the nausea. Um, so nausea, acid reflux, some breast tenderness, and um, headaches is what I've been experiencing. Oh, and another big um, symptom that I have been feeling is fatigue. I literally can sleep all day. And like on the weekends, I probably sleep all day, which is not the best thing because it's always good to, you know, exercise or do something with your pregnancy. But I just am so tired with the nausea, acid reflux, breast tenderness, headaches. You just, all you want to do is rest, right? <sighs> See, that I'm burping right now. Excuse me. Um, but with like fatigue nausea and all of that stuff i actually had to switch to part-time um in my job i was full-time so now i only work about 24 hours a week i only go in like three times a week because i was calling in sick the days i would wake up feeling like sick and things like that so yeah um i've had those symptoms starting my 14 weeks the fatigue completely kind of just went away. I just feel normal, same as what I did before pregnancy, like the first few weeks. And then the nausea, teeny bit, still there, but I'm hoping it improves, so I'm hoping it fully resolves in like the next week or two. Um, but the acid reflux and digestion, that is just still there. And that's, I'd rather be nauseated than have this. Like, it just really sucks. My doctor told me I could take Pepsid um, and Tums, but I don't I honestly don't feel that that helps um I would use Sofran for when I felt nauseated like Thanksgiving I took it just so I could enjoy Thanksgiving um 
The only problem with Sovereign is it causes constipation. And I am TMI, I know this is TMI, but I suffer from constipation anyways. And taking Sofran just made it 10 times worse. So that's the reason why I no longer take it anymore. Um, I felt like I'd rather deal with the nausea than with nausea and constipation, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I am now 15 weeks. Symptoms started diminishing when I was 14 weeks. So um, just for those girls out there that kind of feel the same way, hopefully around 14 weeks, so your symptoms start improving a little bit. And yeah, um, that's just a quick little update of my um, test, or not my test, my symptoms that I've been um, having. I am going to find out what I'm having when I'm 16 weeks, so I'm super excited because pretty much I find out in a couple days. Um, I'm just super excited. I'm such an anxious person that I could not wait until I was 20 weeks. There was like no way. So um, I'm hoping for a girl, obviously. But um, just whatever God is willing to give us is fine with me. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, just um, put it down in the comments and I'm more than happy to answer those. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for my next video. I think my next video is going to be like a little gender prediction um, video of like according to my symptoms. So I'll um, keep you guys updated and when I find out my gender, the gender, I'll share it with you guys and I hope you guys enjoy it and are excited as much as I am because I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, just stay tuned for those videos and thanks for watching. Bye!